two elk hunters and a bipedal creature, Bigfoot, startle each other as they come face to face at Chalk Creek on the east side of Coalville near Thousand Peaks Ranch. One of the elk hunters is Clint Richens, a friend of mine. I met him doing a Bigfoot investigation in Lost Creek, only 25 miles from where he had his Bigfoot sighting several years before. It doesn't surprise me at all that there are so many Bigfoot sightings along Chalk Creek and around this Thousand Peaks Ranch. It's the largest privately owned ranch in Utah for 60,000 acres. That's 94 square miles of property that hardly gets used. They're set there. That's not how yeah, it's broke off and set there. Yeah. So is that one. But, I don't know. Clint's Bigfoot sighting is one of my favorite Bigfoot sightings in the Chalk Creek Thousand Peaks area. There's an amazing history of Bigfoot sightings in the area, so when I read about Clint's Bigfoot sighting, it was no surprise to me at all. It's the gateway to the Uinta Mountains, which is a Bigfoot sighting hotspot. Bigfoot sightings even happen on the outskirts of the town of Colville. People that have seen the Bigfoot on their property and there has also been people that have had the Bigfoot peek in their windows and scare them to death at their homes. People that saw the Bigfoot in their yard, they moved away. The people that had the Bigfoot look in the window of their home, they ended up moving away. It's just a crazy hot spot. I want to tell you a little bit about what happened to Clint in this area. We're in the Thousand Peaks area right now on the outskirts of the ranch. Clint and his brother-in-law were hunting elk up on Chalk Creek near Thousand Peaks Ranch. They were deep in the canyon for quite some time. It was getting dark, so they started heading out. They headed up a draw uphill and come up over the top of the hill onto the flat into the meadow. There is a beaver pond and they come face to face with what looked like a Bigfoot, a large black creature took them by surprise and they say it looked just as surprised as they were. It was only 30 feet away and it ran into a small stand of trees, some pine trees, and let out a woof type of noise. One of the hunters yells, what the heck was that, and puts a shell into the chamber of his gun. So now they have the creature on their left in a stand of pines only 30 feet away, and to their right is a beaver dam and beaver pond. It then lets out a low guttural growl, and they can also hear its teeth chatter. Clint was overcome by a sense of evil fear. On the way home, they talked about what they had saw. They were so close to the thing. They know for a fact it was not a bear or a moose. Bear does not move that fast on its hind legs. Clint used to work at Lagoon in Farmington. It's an amusement park. He used to feed the animals and stuff down there and they had a leopard that would growl at you when you would walk by its cage. That growl was almost just like what he heard on that mountain. He's been in the hills all of his life and he's never seen or heard anything like that quite before. Todd Strong from the BFRO was the first Bigfoot researcher to interview Clint after his sighting that took place in October of 2004. I had the opportunity to meet Todd Strong and Clint on the same day investigating a Bigfoot sighting just a couple of years ago in the Lost Creek area. Lost Creek is only 26 miles from where Clint had his Bigfoot sighting. Here's Todd Strong's follow-up investigation. After interviewing the witness, the following can be added to the original statement. The witness has worked as a licensed hunting guide and a wildlife artist. When the incident occurred, it was still light enough to be considered shooting light. They surprised the creature by walking with their wind in the face. The animal could not see them because of the grade of the hill until the pair of hunters stepped into the clearing, whereupon the animal woofed at them. It moved into a pine bough and moved it out of its way, then walked into the trees. They could not see the entire body of the creature. They could only see from five feet up. So they seen from the hips up, estimated the height was about nine feet tall. The witness is adamant that this was an animal moving upright on two legs. They never saw the creature again, but when they heard it growl, at the end of the growl, it clicked its teeth together. 
the witness said it reminded him of the way a cornered dog would growl at you and how some dogs finish a growl by chattering their teeth together. The animal's coat looked like jet black hair. It scared them enough that they left. Todd found the witness to be credible. Because of this Bigfoot sighting and others in the area, our team comes into this area a couple times a year to have a look around. We'll bring you more Bigfoot sighting reports that have happened in this general area. Keep on watching. We're going to keep on squatching.